Hey guys, and it's finally here. Samsung has officially announced the world's smallest 50 megapixel smartphone sensor. They named this sensor as Isocell GN1. The main reason why it's the smallest 50 megapixel sensor is that it's rocking only 0.64 micrometer pixel size. And you might be thinking, wait, isn't the bigger pixel size better than the smaller pixel size? Well, in order to compensate, Samsung is relying on software algorithms such as the Isocell 2.0, Smart ISO technology, and Double Super PDA. AF. To sum this all up, software is the key, it's actually doing pixel binning 4 to 1 which allows the sensor to take 12.5 megapixel images with a pixel size of 1.28 micrometer. Because of its small size, this sensor is perfect for smartphones with super slim design and most importantly, it can actually be used as a front camera sensor for Samsung's upcoming flagship phones. The GN1 can take high quality pictures as well as videos up to 4K 60fps and slow motion videos of 1080p up to 240 frames per second. Now as impressively small as it is, this smartphone sensor is definitely not going to be up to the flagship level. It definitely won't get used on the Galaxy S22 series at least for the main lens and probably not going to be the sensor for the upcoming Google Pixel 6 Pro. But what it can improve is definitely the camera performance of the entry level devices, budget smartphones and even the mid range phones. This new 50 megapixel ISOCELL JN1 could potentially replace the older 48 megapixel sensors from Samsung that other brands have used. Judging from all of this, Samsung's upcoming 200 megapixel sensor won't actually be that much big because once again, Samsung will be applying the same principle of having the smaller pixel size. They've already said it officially that they want to go all the way up to 600 megapixel sensor while at the same time decreasing the pixel size in order to make it fit for their flagship phones while not having a huge camera bump. That is indeed the ultimate direction for the future, but for now, the upcoming 200 megapixel sensor won't be that big as said by the ISO universe himself. Let me know what you think about the ISOCELL JN1. Also in the news, Samsung is about to do what Apple failed to do in the past. You guys remember AirPower, the wireless charging pad that could charge multiple Apple devices at the same time? Apple teased that in the iPhone 10 trailer, but then they failed to release this because of several issues that they faced during the development. But now Samsung has taken the challenge. According to one Twitter leakster, Samsung is indeed working on an air power kind of device, which is basically a wireless charging pad that can charge multiple Samsung devices or multiple devices at the same time. This is currently a work in progress, so it's not going to come out this year, possibly next year, or maybe in 2023. Now last but not the least, some new case leaks are coming out regarding the Pixel 6 Pro. Once again, it's showing off the same design that we have already seen. This is indeed the final Pixel 6 Pro look. We've got the punch hole towards the middle, super slim bezel, super slim chin. And then for the first time, we have a color filter lens along with a periscope zoom camera system on the Pixel 6 Pro. I can't wait to see what Google does with those lenses. And of course, we get the ultra wide angle lens as well as the main 50 megapixel unannounced ISOCELL IMX800 sensor that is also a big mystery for the second half of this year. Super excited to see Google making their comeback in the flagship game, challenging the best of the best including the S21 Ultra and the upcoming iPhone 13 Pro Max. So that's all the latest news. The world's smallest 50 megapixel sensor is indeed official. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.